This video is on hydroxylation. Hydroxylation is the process of converting an alkene into a 1,2 diol. You can add two hydroxide groups to an alkene using osmium tetroxide or potassium permanganate. It looks something like this. If you have an alkene and osmium tetroxide, it will react in the cyclic fashion to give you an osmate ester, at which point you add sodium sulfite to give you your diol as product. Once again, it's a two-step method. First step is to add the osmium tetroxide, and the second step is to cleave it off with the sodium sulfite. This is a syn addition, so we get the both hydroxides on the same face once again. Why is this? Because both oxygens for the hydroxides come from the single osmium tetroxide molecule. You may realize that I keep talking about osmium tetroxide instead of potassium permanganate, even though both theoretically work. Well, it's because osmium tetroxide is much more effective, but it is very expensive. Whilst potassium permanganate gives you very poor yields, but it's cheap. Now, more recently, say 15 years ago now, osmium tetroxide was found to be catalytic in the presence of terp-butyl peroxide, or pretty much any other peroxide. This means that even though osmium tetroxide itself is expensive, we have cut the cost of it as we only need catalytic amounts of it anymore. Therefore, if you plan on putting two hydroxides where you used to have an alkene, then osmium tetroxide is the chemical you should think of, OSO4. So what would the products be of the following reactions? You may pause now. And here are the answers. Now, if you think back to other diols or other methods we have used to make diols, you might recall that opening an epoxide will give you anti-diols, whilst the osmium tetroxide hydroxylation gives you syn-diols. This is very important because now we have control over which stereoisomer we can make. It also gives me the ability to ask you my favorite type of question, which is, what conditions would you require to make each of these following products? Now you have a go. Recall to focus on the stereochemistry of the products and think what method would give you those. You may pause now. And here are the answers. As we can see, the syn addition occurred with the osmium tetroxide method, whilst the anti addition was the formation of epoxide first and then opening it to give you the diol. 